Good Monday morning, Vital Men. It's good to be with you always on your Monday, and I hope the beginning of your work week is an exciting week and also to a week of, of which you allow the Lord just to work in your life. You know, we're being on this uh, teaching series on how to live a life of victory. And I, and I don't mean that just as a simple mindset and it's simply just another por portion of another book or something, but I believe with all this within me that we can have a victorious life. But as we talk about this next one, point number two is this, don't allow critics to speak into your life because they'll tear it down. And that we've been looking at the study of um, King David as he was a boy and he stood against Goliath. But see, King David at the time, as a boy, was not yet king. King Saul was. And King Saul was a critic. And I want to show you something here as a, as a young boy that David had to overcome by his king and also to the man who is uh, his leader. And he says this to David. David says this, don't worry about the Philistines. He says, I'll go fight them. But he said, this is Paul, Saul. Saul says, don't be ridiculous. There's no way you can fight the Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy, and he's been a man of war since youth. See, right off the bat, we see it. Here's a, here is a man being critical, and God has given David a vision, a dream of fighting this nine-foot giant of a man and defeating him. See, the victory was already, like we shared about last week, the victory has already been given to David. And David believed it, and he stepped in faith and action to go out against the Philistine. But first he had to face his, his king here on earth, which was, which was Saul. And Saul was just being critical. He was being critical and not being a man of faith of what God could do. What's amazing to me as I look at this story, I see here is all of King Saul's men, men who have been warriors. What are they doing? They're hiding behind the rocks. They're hiding behind the walls. They're afraid to come out and fight this Philistine giant. But not David. A shepherd boy who's killed bears and lions with a club believes by faith because God has empowered, the supernatural power of God is upon him, and he believes he can defeat this giant. And he says, I'll go fight him. And King Saul was critical. And see, so we have those same things. We have critics in our life telling us what we can't do, telling us and destroying the dreams and the visions that God has for our lives. See, it takes dreams and visions to believe God puts them into our life. But see, Satan, he wants us not to believe who the men that we possibly can be. So who does he use? People around us. People who tell us of what we can and what we can't do. I oftentimes get told this at being at an older age. Mike, as your time ended, is it time for you to just step aside and let a younger man step into your place to lead men? You know what? If I listen to the critics, that's what I would do. But see, God hasn't released me yet. God has still given me a vision to be a leader amongst men. And only by the anointing and the superpower of God himself and through the power of the Holy Spirit is that even beginning to be possible to be worked out in and through me. I'm just a mere man. I'm humbled. I make mistakes. I sin. But God uses me. And I trust him by blind faith. Men, we all face giants. But we always have those critics who try to tell us of what we can or can't do. Start listening to God. When you listen to God, you listen to men, you have small vision. When you listen to God, you have big vision, bigger than you can possibly begin to dream. Men, it's time to start dreaming. It's time to start facing the giants of our life and trusting God and quit listening to the critics. Be the man that God has called you to be. Be the warrior. Men, I hope today on your Monday that you're a warrior. Don't listen to the critic, but be the man that God has called you to be. Men, We'll see you next week.